it is my birthday tomorrow and I'm feeling ever so slightly weird about it. I tend to get quite reflective during my birthday time. Um, just kind of reflecting on the past year and thinking about whether I am where I want to be and whether I am where I thought I would be at this age. And yeah, it makes me feel kind of weird. Uh, I've talked about this in another vlog as well, but I just feel like while you're a student, you kind of know how to measure whether you're on the right track. It's kind of like if you're getting good grades and, you know, as you progress from, I don't know, like primary school to high school to university or whatever, um, there's a sort of trajectory sort of set out there for you that you can measure yourself with to see like if you're on the right stage. Um, but once you finish that and once you become a working adult, it's kind of up to you to decide what does it mean to be on the right track? What does it mean to be doing well? Uh, I feel like on my one shoulder I've got this bad angel telling me like, oh, but this aspect of your life isn't quite where you thought it would be and like this could be a lot better and you need to work on that and and on my other side there's a good angel telling me, but Blue Ants you've got all these amazing blessings and look at all the things you've done this year and you know like you're doing well and you can't compare your timeline to somebody else's timeline, that's not how it's meant to be. So I know, that's, I know, I know, but I'm still feeling a bit down sometimes. Just trying to manage like my own expectations of what I thought I would be doing at this age and like society's expectations of what society expects you to be doing at this age just like balancing all of that with my mental health and staying sane <laughs> and prioritizing my happiness. I also like tend to feel very guilty for feeling low uh, because I know that these are all small things and I know that I am living a very blessed life and things are actually going great and I'm healthy and I'm loved and you know like that's what matters most to me. So I always feel like oh if I ever feel low then that means I'm being ungrateful but I'm trying to give myself that space to feel low sometimes. I think I might go make myself some Japanese curry to feel better. <laughs> on my way to my friend's house for a little garden party which we're allowed to do now by the way and by party I mean a gathering of three people including myself Ooh, look at these flowers slowly picking myself up out of my little slump surrounding myself with good people reminding myself of my blessings Telling myself that I'm doing well, that it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> this is how I take care of myself, guys. <laughs> We're just having a good time. Just have it. Just a good time. Just socializing. Oh, okay. I love that little like two meter distance oh, there. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, is this what, what platform is it? Your YouTube. YouTube. Yeah. yeah. If you You're just a YouTuber. I wouldn't say I'm a YouTuber. Are bit, you hungover? No, no, no. I was just saying, we funny. had like some people over last night, and I, I literally had like three really small ones on it. Yeah. And then woke up this morning, and I was like, what? Because the lockdown is getting to us. No, no, really. to us always. We had a can. I know, because. We had one can of gin and tonic. Oh, wow. I hadn't drunk. So, okay, no, that's no, no, fine. Drunk. I have not had a drink. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> drank. I did not have a drink. I'm very lucky for that. <laughs> yes, there you go. <laughs> Bye. 
I'm taking the risk for the vlog. Wait. <laughs> if this <You're> works. <laughs> How many you got? I have ten. All of them. Ah, so pretty. Hi. Thank you. <laughs> I can't see your red face. Is it recording it? It's recording. Okay. Oh. Still only me, but anyways. Because <laughs> I thought if I put it there. No. <laughs> she's not just celebrating her birthday alone. <laughs> so she's wrapped it in Santa wrapping. That's all I done. had. <laughs> it's from Santa with love. Yes. Santa told me. And then she said that it's her secret Santa <laughs> present and I actually believed it. Could have been. I actually believed that. Did oh you? yeah, hospital life is like really busy so you probably didn't get your It's your actually Santa. believable. Yeah. It's I a believable story. But it's still only just April. <laughs> just March. April? March. Oh my god. But like we've been in a lockdown, like you've yeah. been busy, you don't have time to exchange gifts in the hospital all the time, right? I like, definitely do. Oh, right. <laughs> go with it. Go along with it. Oh yeah, I'm very busy. Can I open it? Yes. Oh, mm, yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course you can. <laughs> no, I just don't want her to get disappointed. <gasps> oh, oh. oh, it's so pretty. <laughs> I'm watching me break it now. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> That's so cute. That's so cute. <laughs> oh, look at it. <laughs> it's really cute. Oh, thank you, guys. This is so sweet. No. You need to disassemble it. <laughs> the other way. Oh, is it? No, I think it's oh, yeah. One. This is yeah. way too complicated. And then this is that goes in there. And then that? No, and then that. Oh, and, then. and then that upside down. Ah. There we go. Saisha's featuring in another vlog! <laughs> we met up in West London to go hunt for cherry blossoms because apparently there are quite a few in this area. But we came across this really cute kind of courtyard and are gonna have some coffee. Back in a vlog Hi. again. Do you ever feel birthday blues? Or how did you feel about like going towards your mid twenties? I think I, f I felt a bit weird just thinking mm. about the fact that I'm gonna be 25 and I kept on saying, oh my gosh, I'm a quarter of a century. Yeah. <laughs> and I think it was just that realization of I'm nowhere where I thought I was gonna be at mm. 25. And I think I got into a bit of a comparison of just thinking about where other people are yeah. at point, or other people that are now older than me where they were at 25 like I was thinking about the fact that my sister was married and she mm. had Emilia not that I think I would do a good job of already having that but <laughs> and I think that no matter how much I try to say that I want to break out of whatever society's expectations are for me mm. I think I still feel a bit tied to it in a way of oh i hoping to be married I want to be married yeah and I want to be in a job that I like a bit more than my current job <laughs> am I allowed to post this on the internet <laughs> yeah I don't really care <laughs> but no I have been saying that oh my gosh guys I think I'm getting wrinkles so, like, I have eye wrinkles especially when I laugh as I'm like prioritizing skincare more than ever now. <laughs> yeah. But I think birthdays are just a good reminder of making the best out of the now where we are right now. And there's mm. so much that I can 
be learning here and now. And、mm-hmm. I think the big thing for me is that I feel like God has been working on my heart of stripping me of any idealiz- idealization of certain milestones that I want、yeah. to have or、mm-hmm. timeline. And I think that seeing that a lot of my life has turned out not the way that I would have planned if I was planning has、yeah. been. Has been difficult in the beginning, but I think it's just a good reminder that hey, none of it is my control, and I have a God that knows better than me, even when、yes. I don't feel like He knows better than me. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> That's a good takeaway. Happy Easter! Such a beautiful Sunday.、Um, I'm going to meet my friend, my childhood friend Cindy, for an Easter lunch in the park. Lovely Easter lunch picnic,、um, and I also just watched an Easter sermon online, which is really nice. And this has me finishing off my birthday week feeling really good, <laughs>、um, as opposed to how I started it, feeling a little low. I hope one or two of you could relate to the whole birthday blues thing, and you know, just thinking about if you're on the right track and whether you're happy where you are.、Um, But yeah, I'm feeling a lot better, and I think it's a pretty standard part of being in your 20s, where you're just trying to, you know, still figuring things out, not quite sure of what you're like meant to be doing. But as long as you know you feel content and fulfilled,、uh, hopefully that's good enough for the time being, and things will slowly fall into place、um, as you need them to. So yeah, trusting in the process of things, feeling a lot better after having spoken to friends and family and God. <laughs> I don't really know what the takeaway of it all is, other than, you know, continue living in the present, being grateful for what you do have, and being excited for what you are yet to gain and achieve.、Uh, and yeah, like just not pressure yourself too much. Don't compare yourself too much. It's very easy as you grow older and older as it. <laughs> Coming from like a really wise woman's perspective,、um, it's very easy to compare where you are at、um, with other people. But let's try not to do that.、Um, let's allow us all the time that we need. And then, lastly, maybe just realizing that there will always be aspects of your life that you're not quite content with, and that's okay、uh, because. I mean, it's good to have things to work towards. Life would be boring if it was just like constantly perfect all the time, because then you wouldn't even be able to tell the highs from the lows.、Um, and then also, as my God has taught me, <laughs> it's about actively choosing joy, even when you have reasons to be upset. It's about actively deciding that no, I would rather be joyful even in this moment. I mean, like your circumstances are what they are. You might not be able to change that, but. You can control how you feel about it, so let's try to choose joy、um, in the way that we even perceive our、uh, hardships as well. And yeah, let's continue trusting that things will work out as they have worked out until now. Like God has gotten you this far, so why do you doubt that He won't have your back in the future? So, okay, I think that's it for me. Thank you for watching another vlog, and I will see you soon in my next one. Bye.